Hey, it's Mega Man Sonic X, and just so I don't get any questions about this in the future, and because I've been meaning to show it off, I'm going to tell you about the other emulators that were mentioned previously on the part one of How to Set Up the Night Player. You may have remembered these, NES, Mega Drive, and Game Boy. Well, they're actually very simple. All you do is, well, first you find the one you want, or all of them, and download these three. Next, we're going to go back to our plugins folder, as you remember where we put the Game Boy Advance emulator. So all you need to do is just drag, um, click and drag the file right into the plugins folder. That's it. And now for the games. Do the same thing. Download it click and drag in the folder right here. The only reason I can show the Game Boy Advance on part one was because that one's a lot more complicated to set up. These is just click, drag and drop into the plugins folder and that's it. Now this also makes me want to point out something. The Genesis emulator. For some reason I it just will not want to work for me. I just don't know. I start up the game, however, the game doesn't start up. It's like trying to open a blank file, basically. And other players, or other people who have an iPlayer, because I read on other forums, and they got theirs to work, so I don't know why, and if anyone has any information they like to dispense about it, please tell me. I'll update the video, and I'll give you complete credit for that. So, with that... At least the NES and Lame Boy will work. Genesis, all I can say is try and see what happens. I can't get it to work myself. Like I said, if anyone wants to help, please let me know. So, yeah. Just find the emulator, click, drag into the plugins folder, and you're good to go. So with that, I say we are done now with the high setup and iPlayer. If you have any information on why the Genesis emulator does not work for me, please, I'm anxious to find out so I can get it working and tell anyone else who ever runs across this problem, because I know if I'm running across it, so are other people. So with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.